Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Merry Christmas to each of you. I imagine as years have gone by, you've come to know the beautiful Christmas story. Over the years, you've heard it told many different ways, many different times, often reading Luke 2. You've been along the road with Mary and Joseph as they traveled from Nazareth to Bethlehem. You've knelt down beside Mary and you've held the Christ child right alongside with her. You've stood next to Joseph. You looked on admiringly as your wife just gave birth to this precious Christ child. Maybe even along with the shepherds, you knelt in fear as the angels sang their beautiful song, Glory to God in the Highest. Or maybe along with the Magi, you've traveled afar to see the most beautiful treasure of all. Or maybe even like the animals, you looked on, didn't know what to say, but just looked on at the glory. And here you are another Christmas Eve, remembering that same wonderful blessing of Christ coming into the world. That same miraculous gift that Jesus has entered into our world as the greatest gift of all time. The greatest gift that came from God our Father. What a wonderful gift it is that we celebrate. And I've often wondered, what was the perspective of the Christ child? As Jesus lay in that manger, having just been given birth, he was true God, so he had all the knowledge of the world. But he was also true man. And so as Mary gave birth to him, he was like any other child. He rubbed his eyes, he kicked his feet, he made fists with his hands. He didn't see everything clearly at first. And yet he still had all the knowledge of the world. And so what perspective did that give him? What perspective of the world did he see? He knew everything that was going to happen to him. He knew how things were going to go. He knew what was in, in store. But he also was a child. A gift. He knew how things were in the world. He knew how hopeless things were. He knew how people disappointed one another. He knew the pain. He knew the anger. He knew the hurt. He knew that sometimes we experience hopelessness and sadness. He knew that sometimes we experience questions and loss. He knew that at times that we would turn from Him. But you know all this. You know all this because you live it each day of your lives. You live each day looking at our world around us. Realizing the reality that it brings to us. You've seen what the brokenness, the hopelessness has brought. And that's what makes this miracle so much of a miracle. Because where there was only hopelessness, where there was only sadness and disappointment, where there was only brokenness and pain, loss, there came a child. A child who brought a message of hope. A message of hope that there was something greater. That there was something more wonderful than what we're living in now. That hope was eternal life with our Father in Heaven. What a wonderful gift that even amongst the day-to-day -day lives, the sadness, there's still going to be joy. There's still happiness. Tonight, tomorrow, many of us will open presents with our friends and family. We'll celebrate the gift of family. We'll celebrate the gifts we have. But these gifts are only short-lived compared to the Christ child who, can li who lives forever. Through the Christ child, we find joy we find a permanent gift, a permanent promise that we are children of God, that we are welcomed into His presence, that we are not broken in God's eyes, but we're made perfect. And we look at that promise. For unto us a child is born in the city of David, a Savior, Christ the Lord, a Savior 
who takes away all the brokenness and pain in our lives. A Savior who one day call us home to join Him in heaven. A Savior who has turned our world upside down. Who has brought a message that is not short-lived, but a message that is permanent. A message that each day we can rely on. A message that each day we can find hope and joy in. That message is, I love you. Jesus said when He came as that child, I love you. I love you. I love you. He chose you because His act as coming as a child was an act of love. This is the ultimate act of love for Him to come as that baby in Bethlehem. It, that act of love is one that overcomes all the pain, all the brokenness. It dries those tears. And believe me, Jesus is right there beside us. Each of the tears we cry. But He also is there holding us up. Inviting us to come to Him. For unto us, a child is born in the city of David. A Savior. Christ the Lord. A Savior who makes a difference each day of our lives. A Savior who invites us to live with Him. To find strength in Him. To find peace in Him. Not just today. Not tomorrow. Not the rest of the 12 days of Christmas. But every day of our lives. Another time we open gifts. is on birthdays. And today is Jesus' birthday. And as you celebrate your birthdays this year. As you open presents this year. May the peace of God fill you. May the joy that Christ did come so long ago as a babe in Bethlehem help you to remember that He loves you, that He cares for you, and that you are one of His children, made perfect. Merry Christmas. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, what a beautiful night. What a wondrous night. What a miraculous night that we celebrate You coming to us. Lord, we know that You are always among us, that You always love us. But on Christmas Eve, it reminds us just how much You love us, that You came to be with us, that You came as a baby. Lord, may You always be in our hearts. May You give us peace and joy as we celebrate Your birth. And in Your name we pray. Amen.